So hi, hi y'all. Gina to Macy here, psych nurse practitioner. Welcome to my channel where I talk about everything mental health, where I talk about relational traumas, healing trauma, everything mental health, and where I make it okay to not be okay sometimes. Welcome to my little corner on this internet street here. Today I'm going to talk about how, especially as we are easing into Mother's Day, you know, we are so self-sacrificial. So we women, women, mother, whatever role you find yourself, I can sit here and name all the roles till the cows come home. But you know where you are in the hats and all the hats you wear, like you can take it and come off and come off and come off and your hats will just end less. <laughs> um, we are so self-sacrificial. And sometimes in our community, in our societies, I feel like we can get into maybe trick to believe that that's a badge of honor. And many women, maybe don't talk about it or feel stuck because they're self-sacrificing and they feel like that's what society expects of them and they want to wear that badge of honor or moms or mothers, grandmothers, women ahead, especially in families, cultural, religious communities. It's actually... Uh, celebrated for that to be a thing especially especially mothers wives you know kind of thing but men don't be so sacrificial like that the men can be so so self-centered self-driven self-fish <laughs> it's true if you're a woman and you're listening to this Am I making up the story? We are so self-sacrificial and sometimes we get to, let's say, after raising the kids, we have no life. Sometimes we don't even foster our good friendships and I'm emphasis on good friendships and good socialization on what our, what our um, purpose of life is. It's your purpose in life to be a mom great if that's it then maybe that's your calling and taking that role really importantly but that taking that role importantly will be good to take care of yourself first and making sure once you do that you're showing up a better version of yourself for your kiddos for your partner for your whoever else wherever else you show up as your role but i wanted to say and done a lot of research around how self-sacrificial we can be as women and sometimes without a lot of awareness in the season after the season is over especially if you've raised your kids and you're being so tunnel visioned to be that's the only way that you're being then it's gonna be build up a resentment or worst case, build up of health issues, mental health and physical health issues, or early death even has <laughs> been because you just have not put yourself first or taken care of yourself. You know, so I'm calling out to all my sisters, all my lovely women out there. You're wearing the badge, you're running around, you're cooking, cleaning, driving, Mothering, wifing, partnering, working, raising the cover, running your business. Take a moment for yourself. Be selfish a little bit. It's okay to be. How is it the next 10, 20, 30 years be like for you if you self sacrifice, self sabotage for the name of keeping up appearances? But in the name of getting some type of a badge, a badge of honor that maybe you might never get from those children. For that person that you know might not even be treating you good. 
completely good but treat you good first your cup is full so even other people around you up be a thing just like that stuff my shoulder because <laughs> you got it like that you got you and you know what else got you the universe god got you too so you're not in it by yourself but you have to be aware enough to do all the self-caring things for you it can look different from everyone check out my other videos that talk about how to take care of yourself it doesn't always have to be many petties great makeup awesome do your hair awesome but there's so many things water walking hiking massage breathing therapy healing trauma cryotherapy it's just talking to a girlfriend says sauna detoxing detox your gut um next month i'm almost actually going to be looking to do a 14 day detox and fasting so fasting could look like the fasting from meat no no just going vegan no junk food, nothing, just clean eating, just clean eating from nature. So fruit and vegetables, fruit and vegetables only for the month of May. So that's the challenge out there for, especially for we women who are so self-sacrificial. So, so, Use the month of May as we commemorate Mother's Day to fast, calling you out to fast, to de detox, 14-day detox, I'll show you what i got um and i'm also anticipating hopefully by the end of may i'll feel more fabulous going into the summer but detox your gut because your gut and brain are connected so that's another way to just let go all the junk literally the junk inside there <laughs> so look out for more video pertaining that i was easing to may and i uh, hope you're enjoying some sunshine getting some vitamin d hydrating and we'll catch you on the next videos. If you can whip it in your mind, you can whip it in your self-care journey as women. Bye.